All right, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to take this literal equation and we're gonna solve it for A. So what we need to do here is we need to isolate A, make it so it's the only part of the equation on the right side of the equal sign. So how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna to have to use my algebra skills and inverse operate some things over to the other side. Let's get rid of this U for starters. So that's a positive U, so the way I would get rid of it is through subtracting U. That would eliminate it on the right side. Moving it over to the left, V minus U would now just be written out exactly as you read it. V minus U is equal to, what do we have left on the right? We've got a one half, an A, and a T. Now one thing we should know about this expression right here is one half a t could also be written as a t over two. These are the exact same two things. But I want the a to somewhat separate from that part of the fraction. So I can take this and I can write it as t on top, t over two times a, which is the exact same thing as this expression. These are no different, they're just written in a different way. Now, one thing we should remember from our algebra days is that if we want to get rid of a coefficient that is a fraction, we need to multiply by its reciprocal. So I'm going to put parentheses right around that term, and I'm going to multiply by t over 2 flipped. That would be 2 over t. Now, that 2 would cancel out that 2. The t is going to cancel out the t. But if I'm going to mul multiply on the right side by t over 2, or excuse me, 2 over t, and I need to multiply the left side by the same exact thing. That's a 2 over a t. So now what we have is 2 times v minus u over t. And if you look over here, a would now be isolated. So our final answer, let's just bring it down and make it nice and neat. a is equal to 2 times v minus u over t. This is solving a literal equation, setting it up for a different variable. That way when you're given certain values to plug in, if you're trying to figure out the A value, this would be a much easier formula to plug and play. Hopefully this makes sense. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test.